Give me a couple minutes to think okay. about and it. And because because I MVP, I have I have one, but I have two bat. I have two runners up. This is a tough one. Uh, okay. My messy boots for this round just has. I don't even know if it's messy, but I'm giving it to her. Rachel fucking Fuda. It's like, okay. I've never seen something like this. You're sitting there. You're pissed off. Girl, again, this is, it's like Dolores. Like this is just the beginning of many years. If you're on this show, if it comes back with you on it, if we get off pause, there's a lot of ifs, honey, that, but let's just assume you're going to be sitting on a couch somewhere in 2024. Hopefully it'll be 2024. Oh I think it will be like, you gotta come in ready to like make resolution. You can't sit there the entire time with no smile with a no. chip on your shoulder. It's like, so I'm just going to give her the messy, messy boots. It's not even really messy. It's like, you kind of piss me off, girl. This yeah. is not how right. you do a read. I got my MVP. I got my yeah. MVP. So yep. I'm going to say Dolores. You know why? why? She was asked, she was asked some pretty difficult questions about Paulie, about Frank, about her children, being friends with David. They even showed David's face. And she's with, a, you know, an old-fashioned guy. I'm sure doesn't like those kind of questions. I'm going to have to say MVP because Dolores is a class act. And she handled those questions very well. So I'm going to give Dolores the MVP. Nothing to do with being her friend and loving her. It's, uh, you know, I even texted her last night. I said, you're a class act girl. Because she was hit with some tough questions. They bring the ex-boyfriend on with the picture and the fact that Frank lives, you know, she answered everything. She didn't get flustered. So that's my MVP. Okay. That's a good one. No, I mean, listen, I yeah. love the way she handled this and a couple of things. Now I have two honorable mentions now. Yes. I do think between Melissa and Teresa, Melissa has come out ahead last night just for her demeanor. But yes. I just want to make honorable mention, like, the fact that Teresa is really done with her, you'd say Louie makes great TV. And I agree, Teresa, this is this is the Teresa that Jocelyn refers to of like, this is just, this girl don't care no more. She, she literally could care does less. it. So it is making great TV when she's like, I don't care. I'm never speaking to you again. I, a show, no show, bravo, Andy. She's like, uh, this doesn't, like, she's making really fun, funny TV. She don't care. Like she Melissa's thinking and she's got it. Teresa's just like, yeah. I just don't care. I, they're sitting there, Dolores. I mean, like they, they don't know what to say. They don't I mean, know Teresa what to say. say. I mean, I think they're all sitting there like our, our show is falling apart before our eyes. We're literally yeah. sitting here and we're listening yep. to like the one who runs this whole show is basically saying I'm done with this person. Yep. And, and every Margaret's fucking silent as a church mouse. Silent. I have never seen her this quiet ever. Cause she's like, I don't want to lose my, my, my quote unquote nope. friend's job for her. So, yep. and yep. that could be my job too. Like, let's not give Margaret I'm too much credit. You, she's like for Karen. really, she, she looks a little scared up there. She looks a little scared. She does. Yeah, As she, she should does be. too. Dolores As is sitting should. there like what, like they, it's like realizing in real time what's happening. And to Jennifer's credit, when she says, I don't need this show, she means it because she's as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, she don't need any, she don't need any of it. Dolores is silent. Margaret's si they're they're just Dolores right before is, their Dol eyes. Dolores, you see her saying uh, to Danielle, this is old news. This is old stuff about when they were talking about things from yeah. years ago. Like she's getting disgusted with it too. Like enough now you're going to ruin this show because of what would happen 10, 15 years ago. But I said this on this podcast, I told you all from the green pageant dress. I told you that Teresa really didn't want to make up with her brother and, and sister-in-law. She did it because of the show, the paycheck, the whole thing. She was be between a rock and a hard place. And I told you, and Melissa brought this up the minute she met her man it was bye bye to them. I told you that. But see, I still happened. think it's a different reason, which I'll get into in a second. Okay. So that's now my my second runner up. This person almost almost became the MVP. The best line in the history of Housewives. I will be using this line for the rest of my life. Okay. You 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 keep all you say that I'm a wannabe. You know what? Yes. You're a hundred percent right. Cause I don't want to be nothing like you. That was yep. the best line. Now, granted, Miss Cabral, 
I understand you rehearsed that for six weeks before. I'm sure. I'm I understand sure. you wrote it out. You erased it. You, you got your exact line, but that is a brilliant, brilliant. That was good. Margaret was like, I oh. don't even know. What, yeah. Yeah. That was good. I'm a wannabe. And you know what? You're so right. Cause I don't want to be nothing I be like, anything you. like you. You know what? I don't like, I don't like the old things. You're in a, first of all, um, Teresa, you're 51. So you're, you're in your fifties and it goes by fast. Okay. So, and Margaret's in her fifties. Margaret does look a little, she does look older. Well, for that's age, the thing. The- Cause online, they all say old lady energy, old lady energy. It's like, that ain't guys. I mean, that's not so great for Margaret's demeanor. No, guys, she's the same age as Teresa, basically. I, basically, when you're in your fifties, you're in your fifties. When you're in your sixties, you're in your. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I, I don't like this. They did this. Listen, when when Kim G was uh, in her fifties, I think this is the way it went, and Teresa was in her for. She was calling Kim G old. Well, guess what? T, you're fifty one now. So are you old? She was calling Kim G an old lady. Well, like, on my podcast, Miss Carolyn Manzo said she was okay with Melissa calling her an old lady. She's like, Melissa was in her 30s. I was in my 50s. I understand it. I don't go for that. I don't go for age shaming, fat shaming. I don't go for that kind of stuff. That's not my cup of tea. Well, what are they? Well, Benjamin, are they Benjamin Button? They're going to no, get No, that, that I don't go for. But I mean, I get what people are saying. You want my MVP now? Go ahead. Now, first of all, let me just say, yeah, between the tile and all this talk about Laura, our podcast was all throughout this reunion, but it's not about me. My MVP goes to the one, the only Miss Jacqueline Lorita. because oh. let me tell you something. And it was almost you, Danielle Cabral, for that line. But let me tell you something. This is how I operate. You do what you want to me. You do. I uh, trust me, I will get you. It might be a week. It might be. But here we are. And Teresa and Louis legitimately from the bottom of their hearts wanted to recon- It's legitimate. It's very authentic. I agree. We, we had I Jacqueline agree. on. Jacqueline's interview, by the way, was huge for us. It blew huge, up. Huge, huge. They, they like go to Vegas. Listen, I don't even know if Jacqueline, but I believe that Jacqueline Lorita, and I, this is props to you, Miss Lorita, because you're going to come back next She's season. The best. She is a fucking wolf in sheep's clothing. And I mean that as a, oh, Jacqueline, Jack, oh, Carolyn, all this talk about Carolyn and Teresa. And stuff. Guess what? Don't fucking count out Jacqueline Lorita. Jacqueline Lorita. So she sits. So she has this thing with, and I don't say it's not authentic. She's not. No. But somehow during this I know lunch, Teresa, by the way, everyone, Teresa still calls Jacqueline. She'll be in her car driving her kids to school or whatever. They still talk. They're friends now. They're actual friends. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, they're they're continuing with their friendship. Oh, what about Dina Manzo? Did I call that? I said this happened after the Mexico trip of her 50th birthday, that they never saw each other again. Well, I know my friend, one of the big boys, was in Fres- 